Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I was going to show you all my uh, entertainment center that uh, that we built. Uh, this this survived the fire. Well, sort of. Uh, there there's some issues with it, but let me kind of just show you the entertainment center as of itself. So obviously, this is a uh, dresser started off life as, and so I turned it into a entertainment center so the way i had this set up and we'll we'll be replacing all these little knobs um insurance would have paid us to get a new one but since this is custom made this would have been i don't know probably a three thousand dollar dresser but i'll show you what we did so obviously a tv sits up here and i didn't really want anything on top up here so what we did was we had these drawers that pull out and what we did was put a hinge in there so they'll fold down and then uh, the, way, the way I had to do that was you know you had to, to knock the you had to knock these out and then we had to sand them over so they'll they'll slide up and they will fit in real nice but anyway so my thinking behind this was we would have we'd have like for this one we had a blu-ray player in this one on this one we had like the xbox 360 and on this one was going to be our receiver for the speakers and surround sound and all that um, unfortunately the surround the receiver that we had was too tall so it wouldn't fit in here but Anyways, that was my thinking, and we cut out the, the little notches behind so the cords could go behind it. And then, you know, while you're, while you're using whatever, whatever device you want, uh, you have it open, and you can change and play game and all that stuff, and no, no big deal. Then whenever you're done, flip these up, and then I'll go back into the their little cubby hole now the only problem with that is that there's electrical devices in here uh, that create a lot of heat but uh, uh, real quick and then on here we had like video games we had CD players we had or CDs and then we had like DVD uh, some board games over here and I don't remember some other storage and whatever VHS probably I don't know <laughs> but anyway so uh, long story short with all that uh, electronic stuff in there it's going to create a lot of heat so found this place cooler guys and this is the package thing I got you can see the item number there you can see everything that it comes with you can see how much it is 125 bucks um, shipped to the house Kind of seems expensive, but whenever you think about whenever you think about a hundred dollar Blu-ray player, a two hundred, three hundred dollar game system, and a three hundred dollar receiver, it kind of kind of it kind of justifies the price, I guess. But basically, what you'll get is you'll get four fans. You'll get the uh, the plug-ins for the fan. Uh, they're basically just extension cords so if you have a fan that's way over here and your controller unit is like right here uh, you can just plug that in as an extension so we get an AC adapter you'll get the little screens you'll get these little mounting plates oh, this goes over here uh, some zip ties and screws and uh, one of these is the inlet one is going to be the outlet fan thing whatever and then you'll get a, a controller and you'll have a controller with the controller you'll also have a thermostat so basically what will happen is whenever you turn this on 
stays plugged in all the time. Whenever you start playing something a lot and it creates enough heat, uh, I think I had it set at 90 degrees or something like that. Um, yeah, I think I had it set at 90 degrees or 95 degrees. I think 95 degrees. So whenever it gets 95 degrees on here, it sucks cool air from out, outside, um, outside and blows it inside. Show you what I'm talking about. If you look up there. See this? I have it. Shows that it's 72 degrees right now. And this actually works. Um, it works and everything, but the thing is, is oh, and then here's the thermostat. Here's the thermostat. But you can see the duct tape kind of, or the electrical tape is wiltering off and all that. Uh, so anyways, basically I'm going to change out the electronics in this. Um, it, it all works, but I don't want to, the, the thing is with a house fire is there, there's a lot of, uh, acidity in the smoke. And so it can mess up some stuff. Uh, you can see where these are starting to rust, but for me, the hard part's done, and that was cutting a hole. And, uh, yeah, cutting a hole in this and hoping that you didn't screw up and hoping that your wife wouldn't beat you. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, you can adjust one of these buttons. Oh, yeah, so it'll turn on at 80, 88 degree. Okay, let's see if we can... Warm that up any. And they all turn on. And once that cools down. I'll turn off with the doors open and the the fans going it should blow cool air out and uh, here's how I have it set up on the back and I had to make this spacer for mine because whenever the door would shut um, it, it would run into the fan so I had to move these fans out just a little bit and that's just made out of MDF you can kind of it's kind of crappy, but anyways, um, yeah, and then just you see this comes out and plugs in. But the other th the other thing I'm going to do to this is the only other thing I'm going to do to this is actually mount the um, the power strip on this. Oops is actually mount the power strip on the back of this because this is nice and solid. Um, it's an entertainment center, so we're going to have stuff being plugged in and unplugged all the time. So I'd rather do it to this than have to drill a hole and put it, or yeah, drill a hole and mount it to the wall. So to keep the cords from fraying, because I had the you know, Xbox here, or I had the Blu-ray player here and an Xbox and, you know, all that. Uh, they had these little pieces here. And put your cord through there. If it's not a very thick cord, you can put that on there. And then, and then that'll keep your cords from fraying from the cord pulling in and out whenever you open and shut the door. And it makes it look really nice. So, uh, it got lost during the move or well, during the recovery and all that stuff so which that's a big <laughs> big ordeal anyways yeah i think this is a pretty cool little setup um and obviously you could put it into like a nightstand or something like that um like if you have a, a laptop you put your laptop in here and then run the bigger screen up here and a, and a keyboard 
That would work as a desk. Also, if you have, hold on a second. So here's my computer setup that I have at the time. So, oops, let's go back. But that shut, well, it's going to generate a lot of heat. So I cut the back out. You can probably see the wall back there. Anyways, if I didn't do that, I could have just cut out one or two of those little fan motors um, and mount that on there, and that would be that would be really nice and slick. But, but again, yeah, that's uh, I hadn't done a video in a while, obviously, because we're still moving and packing and see here's boxes and cleaning towels and stuff. But um, I, I'm still planning on doing a reveal of the house. Um, it just takes forever because my wife and I, we both work 40 plus hours a week. We got two kids in school. They have school events and then they have uh, Boy Scouts. And then we have just regular stuff that we have to do, go into a store, store, buy groceries, and yada, yada, yada. So, anyways, I know I'm rambling, and I'm going to cut this off. But uh, y'all comment rate, and we'll get back into the swing of things. Y'all comment rate, we'll get back into the swing of things. Uh, I'm getting my garage back. Getting my garage back in, in order is... On, on the lower list of things to do compared to going through boxes and putting up stuff and uh, it's annoying. <laughs> okay, just kind of so you can see um, there is four buttons on this. One, two, three, and four. So, whenever you push the top left button, that's high. That tells you that tells you when the um, so you push the top left button. Whenever it gets to ninety-eight degrees Fahrenheit. It's going to turn on the uh, your fans. Uh, you push the bottom button. Once it cools down to 93 degrees Fahrenheit, it will turn off. Um, the top right button will switch it to Fahrenheit and Celsius. And then... The bottom right, that just that's just where you can turn it down and adjust um, whenever you're messing with these over here. There's also a switch on the back, and you can turn it on, and they will always be on. So you can have like a bypass, whatever, switch. So now I got I got half of this done. Uh, the the bolts and the nut that came with uh, the other side. Um, either I lost the package, which I really honestly don't think I did, or whenever they were packaging it, they forgot to throw in the other bolt kit. And so I called called the guys up, super nice to talk to, and they're like, "Yep, we'll send you one out." But um, and here's here's kind of the bracket. And it's just a real simple L bracket, and that that pushes in there. Here's the thermostat. I need to fix that better. But you can see where that's at. I might get some tape and put that up there. And you know you don't want to staple these in too deep and crush it. So, but yeah, I thought I thought I would show that. Uh, these, these basically, you have your outer screen, and and these can also push or pull, just depending on which way you you have these orientated. 
but they they are switchable so you'll put your screen underneath your bracket thing put your screen there and then your fan will go there and then that on top and then you have bolts that just go through and I had the bolts going from outside in with the nut on the inside so you can just see the the bolt head on the outside and then you they supply they supply these uh, screws so you can just screw it in and you'll be good to go again I had to do mine a little bit different uh, because of the drawers because of the drawers sliding in and out um, and I just had to make that little little gap but also whenever you're you're doing this um, I'm having I mean you can put that any way you want to but I have both of my cords going down this one going more that way and that one going more that way so I'll undo this and zip tie that together so you get a nice and neat neat little package I guess so. yeah I thought I should go I thought I should go a little bit more in detail about um, how that goes together it's real simple um, and here's the here's the old one and you can see from just undoing the old one how black it is with the stuff on the, on the cords and stuff but that's all you do. This is your thermostat, which has that little thingy that plugs in right here. And then you have your plug-ins for the motors, and they go right here, right here, right here. And that goes to your power supply that comes equipped with it. And that's that button that goes... That's that button that's always on or... Uh, with the thermostat. So that's with the thermostat. But yeah, you can see. <laughs> like I said, it still works, but I didn't want to take a chance. I might use this for another little project of some sort. Something, something that's not as critical. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. See ya.